Grace and peace be with you. Good morning. Welcome to Boone Sunday School. This morning we have a story about a widow, and a widow was a lady who has lost her husband. So her husband had died, and he owed some money to some men, and we call that a debt. So he owed a debt, and he came to the widow, and he said, I want my money, and if you can't pay me, I want to take your two sons, and I'm going to make them slaves, and they can work for me. Well, the widow, oh, that was terrible. So she went to a prophet by the name of Elisha. And a prophet is a man who gets messages from God, and then he shares them with God's people. Now, how do you think God would get a message to Elisha? Well, the widow came to Elisha, and he, she said, What can I do, Elisha? I don't have any money. I'm really poor. What can I do to pay these men so that my boys don't have to be slaves? So Elisha said, well, what do you have? And she said, well, I just have this small jar of oil. And, he, and in those days, oil was very valuable. Uh, people used it. If you had a lot of oil, you had a lot of wealth. And also they used it to make candles and to make soap. And also it was used to anoint the foreheads or the heads of those who believed in God. So Elisha told her, she, he said, well, you go to all your neighbors and you see if you can get as many uh, clay jars as you can get. And in those days, they didn't have glass jars. They just had jars made out of clay. So the widow said, okay, that she would do that. So she and her sons went to the neighbors and they got lots and lots of clay jars. And let's put them out here. They got lots of clay jars. And Alicia said to the widow, now you take your one clay jar and fill up the others. So she took her one jar and she filled and she filled and she filled and more oil kept coming out of her small jar and she filled and she filled and she filled. And when she was finished, the oil stopped flowing, but all the jars were full of oil. Now that's what we call a miracle. That means something happened that was extraordinary that you can't explain. And God made this miracle. He made all this oil for this woman. And Elisha said to her, now you go sell that oil and you'll have enough money so that your sons will not be slaves. So that's what the woman did. She went and sold all those jars of oil. She got enough money to pay off the debt. Now, we don't have, we can't get, get big miracles like that, but we have miracles that happen every day in our normal lives. We have a nice place, warm houses to live in. We have food to eat. We have friends. So there are lots of miracles, everyday miracles that we have in our lives. Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for taking care of the widow with Alicia's help and God's help. Thank you for all the everyday miracles we have in our lives and help us to remember to say thank you to you for all those things. Amen. Now, if you come to Sunday school today, we can make a chain that lists lots of everyday miracles that you have in your lives. And then we can hook these chains together and see how long that our chain can be. Now, I made some and said, uh, Boone Indoor Services starting again. That's a very everyday miracle. And I had a visit from my grandchildren. I considered that a miracle. And I talked on a phone. A friend called me long distance on the phone. I received some lovely flowers for my birthday. Um, I went to the dentist and he didn't hurt me, which I thought was a real miracle. Uh, I figured out a sewing problem I was having with something I was making. Uh, I got a nice card in the mail. So those are everyday miracles that we experience every day, and we need to remember to thank God for it. Also, 
I have a paper, and this shows lots and lots of jars. And on this paper, there are two jars that are alike. Now, I looked at it for a little while, and I couldn't find those two jars. But if you come into Sunday school, I'll give you one of these, and I'll bet you'll be able to find those two matching jars. Thank you, and hope to see you in church. If not, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.